I'm Amanda Bickerstaff, the CEO and co-founder of AI for Education. And today I'm going to talk about prompting, specifically how to use prompting for lesson planning. So this is a part of our, our prompt library that's focused on lesson planning. What you'll notice is we have everything from admin work to assessment to helping and supporting students with special needs. But I'm going to focus on lesson planning today because I know that we spend a lot of time as educators doing this. And so I'm going to start with one of my favorite prompts to start seeing the possibilities of AI uh, to help us uh, not only speed up what we do, but tailor our lesson planning for our classroom. And a lesson hook is really important to get kids really engaged. It could be a, a lesson, it could be a unit. And the way that our prompt library is set up is you've got the lesson hook prompt where you can change all of these brackets to make it work for you. An example prompt that you can just cut and paste and then an opportunity to keep going. And so for the example prompt, I'm going to use both ChatGPT and Claude to show you the differences. And we've built all of these tools only with free chatbots. So you should be able to find a really good output um, from GPT 3.5 and Claude. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new context window and I'm just going to cut and paste. And you're going to notice that it's about recycling for seventh grade students. It should be five to 10 minutes long. And my students love fashion and sports and provide options for both subjects in your response. And what's going to happen is this is a very, very fast uh, output. And so you're going to see there are five fashion themed activities and then five sports themed activities. And so this is something where we can keep going and ask it to create ones that are more connected. But we're going to look at this and see what looks good. So we've got a fashion show, a quiz, a, a collage, an accessory design. We've got a relay race, an equipment showcase, a trivia challenge, uh, recycling and extreme sports. Um, and so, but let's see what seems pretty interesting. And I think, I think that I like this idea of the collage. So I want to build, create a lesson book activity plan for number three, including objective materials and student facing directions. Um, Simpler is better, so it fits into 10 minutes of class time. So I'm giving it some more information about what to do. So we can see that it's given me a title, objectives, the materials, and then we've got an introduction, some exploration, the images themselves, and the creation. And so this is like pretty robust. And what I would say is it's probably too much. And probably what we want to do is reframe this activity plan to have the uh, discussion be the final step and fit the 10 minutes. And I'm using my own knowledge of what's gonna work within a classroom. So this is why it's really important that you're using your creativity and knowledge to see what's possible. And in this case, it doesn't, still quite hasn't got it. Cause remember, this is not a thinking tool. It's a, it is a computing tool. So it's still giving you what it thinks is best. So this is a really good start of how we can do this. And so I'm probably gonna, I can cut and paste this out, keep working with it within ChatGPT. Um, or I can just, you know, take the pieces that really work for me. And what I've done is I've come to a much quicker resolution than it would take me normally. I'm just going to quickly do this again with Claude and see what it comes up with. And so Claude, I find ChatGPT to be better for lesson planning, but Claude is also really good at communication. And what we're going to see is uh, I love trash and trends. Um, so show, uh, show photos of cutting edge fashions made from recycled materials. And there's actually a lot of that there. So I love that idea. So what I often do is I kind of play the two tools off each other where Trash and Trends is really great. And what I would want to do is since neither um, ChatGPT or Claude are connected to the internet, what I can do is I can go to Perplexity, which is another AI tool. And I can say, um, find images of uh, fashion created out of recycled materials. And now what I've got is I can get in this answer and it does a really good job of, uh, it should do a good job of the sustainable dark. There we go. So we see some really cool examples of recycled materials. We do the same thing with Bing. But as you can see, what I've done in just a short couple of minutes, I've started with our prompt library. I've found some ideas. Maybe this one's really good, but I also really like this one. And so what I'm going to do is I can just kind of cobble together these different pieces with the ultimate goal is that I'm creating something that really matters for my students. And I'm using my ability and knowledge 
to make these outputs better. Because remember, again, these are not thinking, they are computing. So they're just going to give me a probability of what they think is the best answer. And so what we really hope that you do is you're able to use this prompt library to help you build your own practice, to you know create speed and efficiency where it hasn't been before, but also create really engaging lessons for your students. So we hope you enjoy this and join us again for one of our prompt reviews.